Could cool hand Luke bust out today? Not likely. The bar graph shows the decrease in the number of inmates who escaped from U.S. prisons for selected years from 1993 through 2008. So when we look at the graph, we note that we have a bar graph and we have some values that are given to us. For instance, in the year 1993, we're given the value of 14,035. That's the number of inmates who would have escaped. In the year 2008, we're given the value of 2,515. So we can see that there was a big decrease. Part A, find the slope of the line passing through the two points shown by the voice balloons. So we have the two points that were given to us. In order to find the slope, we recall that our slope is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x. That's also known as our rise divided by our run. To find the change in a rise or a change in a y value, what we're going to do is subtract our y value. So we'll have y sub 2 minus y sub 1. To find the change in x values, we look at the change for x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Now the subscripts are indicating that we're starting with the, same, the x or the y value from the same point as we're working the problem. So for instance, what we can do in order to find our slope in this problem is we can take our y value from our second point, which is 2,515, subtract from it the y value from our first point, which was 14,035. We're then going to divide that by, and we have to come back to our second point to get our x value, 2008, minus the x value from the first point, which is 1993. Now, one thing you can do to double check is that when you set up your slope, you want to make sure that these two values, the first ones that you have listed, came from the same point. And we can see that that is the case. We're now going to do our subtraction. m is going to equal, in our numerator, 2,515 minus 14,035 gives us a negative 11,520. In our denominator, 2008 minus 1993 gives us a difference of 15. And now dividing gives us our m value, which is going to equal a negative 600, 768. Our m value is a negative 768. And what this indicates is that on average we have a decrease in the number of escapees of 768 per year. Part B. Use your answer from Part A to complete this statement. For the period shown, the number of inmates who escaped from U.S. prisons decreased each year by approximately 768. The rate of change was 768 inmates per year.